Welcome back students. In this video, we're going to look at oxymercuration, demercuration, which is an addition reaction. In oxymercuration, demercuration, what happens is you have this HGOAC2 uh, molecule, which if we draw it out, looks like this. And the AC is an acetate group, so this is actually an abbreviated format. And then you have your nucleophile, which in this case is water. And then in a separate second step is sodium borohydride, which is going to actually do the job of putting the OH in a particular location. And I'll show you more about that when we look at the mechanism. In general, what happens is you are adding an OH and an H across the pi bond. And I want to look at the mechanism next because the mechanism will illustrate why this is a Makarovnikov addition. And then we can look at something called alkoxy mercuration. What happens with that HgOAC2 is it actually dissociates into HgOAC with a positive charge on the mercury. Then your pair of electrons from the pi bond can come in and attack that positive mercury. When it does that, you end up with a mercury on one side, still has a lone pair, and a positive right here. But because you have excess electrons on that mercury, what can occur is this pair of electrons on the mercury can come hang out with that carbon. When this happens, you get kind of like a cyclic structure where your mercury is attached. There's still an OAC here. It's positive. And now of the two carbons where your nucleophile can attack, which I'll highlight in yellow here and here, what will occur is the nucleophile will attack the more substituted carbon. The reason for that is that mercury is positive. It's pulling electron density toward itself, which is leaving a partial positive here and a partial positive here. But the molecule, mm, but the side that's most capable of stabilizing that partial positive charge is the more substituted side, and that is where the nucleophile will attack. So your nucleophile will come in and attack from this side and open up that ring. Now what you have is a nucleophile that has added and you still have the HGOAC. This is where that second step of adding sodium borohydride comes in. Your sodium borohydride is going to do the job of replacing the HGOAC with a hydrogen so that your final product has a hydrogen where the HGOAC used to be and your nucleophile at the more substituted side. If you're in my class, I have a general rule that if I don't show you the complete mechanism, it means that I'm not going to ask that mechanism of you on the test. So I'm showing you the mechanism here so that you can understand the regiochemistry as to why the OH adds to the more substituted side. But this is not a mechanism I expect you to reproduce, especially because sodium borohydride, we're just waving our reduction wand and we're putting a hydrogen in for the HGOAC. Now let's look at alkoxy mercuration. When we looked at these prior reactions and we said we had our nucleophile, your nucleophile is going to be the O and the H, right? That's the part that adds to the alkene. So that overall, you're getting the nucleophile to add to the more substituted side. But what if we didn't add water as our nucleophile? What if we had something different? If we have something different, like an alcohol, what will happen is the O and the R group will add across the pi bond. So instead of having an H here adding across the pi bond, what will happen is we'll have the CH3 adding where we used to have an H. So this is called an alkoxy mercuration because the alkoxy group is the OR group. 
What that means for you is you cannot just see, oh, HGOAC putting oxygen and hydrogen on the more substituted side. You also have to look at the nucleophile. If the nucleophile is water, then yes, you're putting H and OH across the pi bond. If your nucleophile is an alcohol, then you're putting H and OR, right? Whatever is here, this OR group is going to add to the more substituted side of the pi bond. Let's wrap up. In this video, we looked at oxymercuration, demercuration, where you add an H and OH across the pi bond. This is a Makarovnikov addition, where the OH is going to add to the more substituted side. Notice how there was no carbocation in this um, reaction. We did show a little bit of the potential formation of a carbocation within the mechanism, but there wasn't an opportunity for carbocation rearrangements because the mercury just comes in and makes a complex. So you are not looking at rearrangements here. You'll also notice that we skipped stereochemistry, which is pretty typical in most Orgo 1 textbooks. Then we noticed that if we change the nucleophile from something like water to an alcohol, that instead of getting an H and an OH across the pi bond, we're getting an H and an OR across the pi bond, which helps us form an ether. Thanks so much for your attention. This is Katoni signing out.